Yeah, that's right, Christy. Former Red Raider players couldn't say enough about how good of a player Gabe Rivera was, but they say it's his personality off the field that made him the man he was. He was the size of a freight train, but he moved like a Porsche. And did the same thing to their quarterback, just chased him down from behind, and he's just a playmaker. Today we remember Gabe Rivera, or Senor Sack, as many knew him. Rivera was a trailblazer in a lot of ways, and one of the most decorated defensive players to ever wear a Red Raider uniform. He kind of put Tech on the map he, at that time period, and I can remember when he, um, when he got drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers, which was one of my childhood dream teams. You know, that's one thing that I was real proud of, that he represented Tech very well. You know, and I know he didn't play that many games, but, you know, he gave a good account of the Red Raiders. Another former Red Raider great, Rockin' Ron Reeves, says he was happy that he didn't have to line up against Rivera on Saturdays. I'm just happy that he's on our team and he's dishing out some abuse to the other quarterback because uh, having a a guy on, against you playing that is that dominating and you know everybody tried to put at least two people on him to block him and they couldn't do it. I mean that was the thing. It's like they still couldn't stop him. He was so quick, so strong and uh, yeah I was definitely glad he was on our team. A member of the Texas Tech Ring of Honor and the College Football Hall of Fame, Rivera made his name on the gridiron, but Reeves says he'll also remember Gabe for his personality off the field. Gabe and I got to go to do a lot of appearances together, you know, throughout our time at Tech, you know, going to elementary schools and making appearances and things like that. He was just a magnet for people. Um, you know, sometimes I felt like I was invisible because he was so good at what he did that, uh, you know, it was just fun memories for he and I that we got to share. And Reeves says that he expects the funeral for Rivera to be later this week in San Antonio. And whenever it is, he says that he'll be there. Christy. Okay, thanks so much, Matt.